Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for September 3rd to September 9th, 2018 Tarot and Lenormand reading, excuse me so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading uh, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you can find all the services and the pricing for those services as well. So that set aside, let's see what awaits you now. The tarot reading will be first, four positions spread. The first position is about the topic of your week here. The second position uh, regards to the core of the situation that you're going to find yourself in then is the challenges you know something that needs to be overcome something that will cause you troubles then is the uh, guidance advice from tarot that you know if you want to listen listen if you don't just go along with your life all right so uh the first card that will be the emperor so the emperor card is about control is about ruling it's about taking on as well responsibilities for your personal actions when, when we do have the emperor card it is likely especially as a topic it is likely that the week is going to be um very stiff for the lack of better term uh, better terms in other words everything will be um scheduled it, it, the week is will be uh totally scheduled from the top to bottom and is unlikely that you are going to find a, a free space for additions they are not that additions are going to um <clears throat> to present themselves so uh that being said this card points that the, the week is going to be very very busy regarding either career or regarding either relationship and not because you have to resolve any issues there but because you have to exert control into those fields the more control you exert the more calm you're going to find yourself in and in some cases the more um how can i place it <clears throat> the more time you will make up for yourself and yeah the week is going to be busy but um how can i place it it's going to be busy however when you structure everything accordingly at the end of the day you will have a little bit of time to take a, a personal rest as well so this week will be rather very solid very stable and it is unlikely that uh, you can expect any surprises in there either your career or either your relationship as a matter of fact your place here as you can see the emperor sits in in its in its throne and the throne in taro is a um, a symbol of uh, responsibilities for uh, for one's actions and as well you know a lot of tasks that one needs to um, juggle so yeah that week is going to be quite busy for you guys now if this is a about relationship uh you have to be very careful as well as well not to overpass um your limitations in the sense of that to bruise yourself more than you have upon your partner into that relationship so try to be reasonable not that you will not have it your way but maybe before you have it your way you want to kind of like share your idea or your intentions with your partner because they will not oppose you but they will appreciate that uh, you involve them into um into those undertakings now the next card here um that will be the high priestess which is the core of the situation by the way uh, i forgot to mention here that the emperor also could represent sitting on a, a high place uh, commanding something and if that's the case with you then you have to present yourself very strong I mean the Emperor is very good at hiding its weaknesses so you have to uh, hide your weaknesses and as well uh, the Emperor preaches that dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told but only that what one needs to know not everything 
And the core why you are experiencing the em the emperor is the uh, is the high priestess. Now the high priestess in the grand scheme of things is about silence. It's about finding the answers within oneself. It's about intuition. It's about that hidden knowledge that one has. But how that could be incorporated into the material world? Well, when the empress is uh, when the high priestess, excuse me, is in the core position, especially one is waiting for. Uh, how can I place it? I will give an example with that. One is waiting for the very significant event to happen. For example, uh, let's say that you are single, then um, if you are single that week, you will remain single because you, uh, you will wait for the meaningful person, not just the casual one, but the meaningful, the one that you can create a uh, long-term relationship with to come around. And that's why you will kind of like um, consolidate your week upon probably career. Those who are in relationship, then they are going to find out that they are more connected with their partners there. And uh, that's why they will secure the relationship here, establish more control upon it so they can define boundaries and so they can uh, push back uh, exterior influence should it has any. And same with your career, you know, if you're working and you're not satisfied with your job, there won't be much change that week, but the job that you will be very pleased to work at is, is approaching here and that's why you will not appeal for some demands at that particular week. Or if you are jobless, well, <clears throat> then that week will make you think about what you can improve in yourself in order to find a job that will really satisfy you. So the High Priestess speaks for that direction we take subconsciously here, uh, that we don't even we are doing it, you know, almost uh, mechanically, almost without even recognizing it because it is something that we have to, you know, accomplish because it's something that our destiny, should we say that way, demands it. The challenges that you uh, have to overcome here, uh, that is totally related to the busyness, two of pentacles, points that even though you do have a plan, you know, don't overthink yourself, but rather think for uh, one step at the time or go ahead one step at the time. Because um, it is very important, you know, to not occupy your mind with uh, problems and worries that at this particular moment you cannot do anything about it. Now, for example, let's say that you do have a scheduled interview in uh, Thursday, all right? And um, three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you know, you only think about that interview, you stress yourself, and therefore uh, you don't give the most out of yourself or the very best of you into the current undertakings that are taking place into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So think one step at a time, at, at the time, focus at the task ahead, and don't concern yourself with things which haven't taken place yet. When they come around, then you, and you can do something about it, it is when you worry for them. So that's, this is what that card expresses, that you will be prone to do something, you know, while doing something to be worried for a, a different thing, which is haven't yet happened, but you may overthink it. And that could kind of like uh, disperse um, your focus upon the task ahead. And the last card, which represents the guidance that you should adopt here, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, which is meticulous performance here. You know, one has a little eye for the minor details. Therefore, one uh, completes one's job to 100% here. Um, one doesn't slack as well when it comes to relationship. This card points that it is time, you know, to execute a very... Um, long negotiated plans so let's say that the previous year even uh, you have thought with your husband or a wife to I don't know to visit Europe all right but you always postponed that well this card here advises you to pick yourself together you know and start doing something to um, 
fulfill that dream of uh, of both of you same things for your career you know let's say that you have been given a very big project here that kind of like uh, roots you into your working place all right and instead of being um, very worried about what could happen focus on the task ahead which is the initiation you know and try to um, make it as best as as possible by attending to the minor detail because when we do have the eight of pentacles as a uh, as a guidance card uh, this is a hint that there are um, matters into that initiation or that project undertaking you name it that could be that could be usually uh, easily uh, overlooked especially if you are distracted with uh, with something that may happen further into the future so it's very important to remain focused at the task um at the task ahead and uh as we do have the high priestess also will benefit you uh if you use uh, your intuition for the lack of better ter of, of a better term i will say to guide you if you find yourself lost so that was uh, as far as it goes with Taro and now uh, let's see what the Lenormand has to say about an event in your, um, in your week that you should either look forward to or avoid in case it's a negative event. So what we do have here now the first card that will be the letter what we do have the letter in my, every single reading. Uh, then is the ship, so that will be a message from afar, for what it seems, about either a child or a about, uh, because the, the child sits for a child, for a new beginning, or for innocence as well. So that could be an innocent message from afar, it could be a message from afar proposing a new beginning or placing a mark of a new beginning uh, for a trip, for example, or that someone is going to come over as well, you know, or it could be a correspondency from afar about a, a child, maybe yours, maybe of someone else, that some sort of that kind of an, an event you either look forward to or you avoid depending on your personal situation. So that being said, Libros, this was your weekly uh Tarot and Lenormand reading and um, thank you for watching again uh, should you choose to take an approach for a personal reading with me all that you need to know is the website listed down below in the description of this video and there you again will find the services and their pricings so Rat signing out now see you next time bye